watching HTV. Enjoy this morning. I want to find out about a new career. I want to start learning again. I need some help on computers. I want to learn away from distractions. I want to learn online. This morning, in association with Learn Direct, making life more rewarding. Good morning. All right. I'm all right. No tears? No, not yet. No? No. Nope. There were a few minutes ago. I know. I was worried. I'm all Been right. Back on track. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we've got lots of good stuff coming up on this, our very last show ever, me and Judy's last show. We couldn't go without attempting just one more world record. Anyone who saw this will never forget the great passing of the orange under the chin record attempt and the utter humiliation of one of the contestants who happened to be one of our producers, Martin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Martin nobly sacrificed his entire reputation for probity just to keep the dream alive. Martin, the producer. You need an orange. Do you need a That's Martin on the left. Martin, what are you doing? <laughs> Martin, don't go there. He's enjoying himself. Oh, no. the rest of the <laughs> Give it up for Martin Harper. <laughs> well, look, <laughs> we're aiming to set a new record for the largest ever television makeover ever in the world. A hundred people in a hundred minutes. Okay, Britain's biggest family will be getting that makeover from Britain's best team. There they are. More on that in a second. And all the family, the whole family of our experts and dear friends, are, are in to play a special edition of our own This Morning Family Fortune Quiz, live with Les Dennis via satellite. That's going to be fun. The man behind Lily Savage, Paul O'Grady, will be joining them and us to take your calls in a Ask Us Anything You Like phone-in. The last one for us. So if you've got a sort of burning question that you've always wanted to ask any of us, or indeed uh, Paul O'Grady, you can call now on 08700 100 101. 08700 100 101. I remembered it. Uh, <laughs> and we've whittled it down to just three semi-finalists who will be competing to win uh, our semi-final today. They're all live from their living rooms to play for a chance to go through to tomorrow's final to win that £186,000 house. But if it's hard cash you're after, then a classic kids' TV show could win you thousands in midday money, which is back in its usual place today. Uh, and there's all of this too. Des O'Connor with the secrets of the stars before they were famous by past level. Emmerdale's Andy Sugden live to show off his new girlfriend, but Judy and I will decide if she's good enough for him at 11.20. Last time we let boy George in the kitchen, he sneezed all over Susan Brooks' hot pot. What will he do for an encore? George cooks live, 11.25. And from one karma chameleon to another, meet the man behind Lily Savage, Paul O'Grady, on his new show, 11.45. Okay, here we go. Uh, today we're attempting at, to set a new world record for the Guinness Book of Records. 100 of Britain's biggest family will be getting a makeover from Britain's best. That's our team, of course. In just 100 minutes. All that lot. Can you imagine? That's what I call a gene pool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it's not the first time that we've attempted a world record. So. Put that right there. No, you're not. You're going to be. That was Martin, the producer. You need an orange. You need a bag. That's Martin on the left. Martin, what are you doing? <laughs> We thought we'd give Martin his moments of glory yeah. again there. Karen what? Keating was presented with her that day and she couldn't speak for five minutes oh, from laughing. Enough. Just every time she tried to, to speak, she was creased up again. <laughs> so I'm, surprised, I'm surprised we didn't take Martin off air, actually. <laughs> now, 88-year-old Jessie Price here has 13 children, 61 grandchildren, 156 great-grandchildren and 30 great-great-grandchildren. And today, 
100 of her massive clan will be getting one massive makeover and with Jessie now here with us in the studio is one of her grandsons Andrew Lawrence hello to you both, Hi both. Hello. hello hello what a wonderful family you've got Sorry. a wonderful family are you on are you on Jessie's good side yes yeah all right <laughs> go on translate them says so it's a wonderful family that you've got yeah well, is my grandson yes yeah I know yeah. can you yeah can you ask Jessie, to, to, doesn't, doesn't she think she, she should have a bigger family? <laughs> you think you should have a bigger family? Sorry? She should have a bigger family. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. There's, there's quite a lot of time I, left I would yet. prefer my family over again. Yes. Would you? Instead of what I've got. There's oh. problems. Oh, bless. And I no. didn't suffer having the children. No. But I do suffer now. Oh. What is it? What, what's the matter with her, Andrew? What's she got? got? Uh, diabe uh, diabetes is the main thing uh, causing it. Right. So, so having having the children was easy, was it? Was having the children was easy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> ish. Normal. Yeah. <laughs> Ask, who's the black sheep of the family? Uh, I never regarded it as an illness. No. It's a natural function. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Go on, Andy. Yeah. Get in there. Do you want to know who's the black sheep of the family? Who is it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, it would take me a year to sort that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Can you, can you, can, can <laughs> Jesse remember all their names? All the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren, the great-great-grandchildren? Well, we spoke about this this morning. Yeah. Um, the smaller children, very easy. Uh, yeah. Because it's voice recognition. Mm -hmm. It's some of the middle-aged people who've got softer voices that she struggles with. Yeah. Because she doesn't see particularly well, so it's shapes and voices that right. she needs. Yeah. yeah. But, because actually, because I know, even from my children, I've only got four. I sometimes, if I want to talk to one of them, I have to run through all four names before I get to the right one. So does Jessie do that? Can you ask her? Do you struggle remembering the children's names? Most, well, all the local ones. Mm. <laughs> See, I get muddled up with ones from Middlesbrough. All ah, right. And yeah. Stoke on Trent. Well, <laughs> I, we know I, about that in Stoke on Trent. I, I know who they are. Yeah. But it's but just I come the name. to think now which one is. And I, I've had to do this morning just to say. Now, which one am I talking to? <laughs> Andrew, tell her that we have the same problem but and we've only got like four. Andy, um, <laughs> is Richard brother. and Judy have got the same problem and they've only got four children. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's 13 of them and they're all, all right. living. Okay, That's well, fantastic. thank you for now. Yeah. Okay. We're now going to yeah. go live to our experts, John Scott, Lee Stafford yeah. and Jefferson, whose task it will be, <laughs> you better do it guys, to set this record. Over to you. Of course we're going to do it. This is going to be the biggest televised makeover ever, Richard, and we're going to win. I've got Lee, I've got Lee here, hairdresser for the stars. I've got Jefferson, queen of the lashes. I've also got the most gorgeous Jeremy you're ever likely to meet, and she's from the Guinness World Records, and she's our adjudicator. And I don't know why you've sent me Martin. Is he my good luck syndrome? <laughs> Just to embarrass I'm sure him, really. I'm for moral support today. I shan't be getting a comb or a scissors or anything. Ma oh, Martin, well, Martin. Anyway for that. Draw Martin, uh, do you, uh, do you still eat oranges at Christmas? Martin, I can't hear you, Richard. Oh, well, can you ask him if he still eats oranges do at Christmas? Do you still eat oranges at Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, yes. Um, peeling them is another matter. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want to say... Yeah. I've done the biggest feature films ever and I've never been expected to dress a hundred people in a hundred minutes. So I'm not wasting any more time, Rich and Judy. I really, really need to start. So are we ready, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Okay, you're off. And we've got a car standing by to whisk Jesse and Andrew off to meet the rest of the family. Where's the car? We've got the car? Oh, I thought yeah. we had a picture of it. Never mind. It's a really nice limousine to take you off. <laughs> so, they, as we said, they've got 100 minutes to do 100 makeover. The time has now started. Uh, we're going to be catching up through the show, and it's going to look great at the end of it. Uh, thank you for coming in. See you later on, and uh, good luck. And we're going to need luck now. <laughs> Welcome to this morning's Family Fortunes, and joining us today on this all-star special edition will be the Mabley family, headed by team captain Richard, and they're playing against the Finnegan family, led by... <laughs> ...captain Judy, and now here's your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much, thank you, hello and welcome to All Star 
long distance family fortune, <laughs> where today we have the Maidley family. My children, my children. And they're playing the Finnegan. <laughs> so let's meet the families. First of all, we meet the Maidley family. Hi, Richard. Hi, mate. Hi, Les. Uh, how are you doing? Great. And where have you brought your family from? Uh, well, we had them a long time ago, but they've grown up <laughs> fast. Uh, they've all come with us today. And first up, Les, is our agony aunt, Denise Robertson. Hello, Denise. Hi, Liz. Nice to see you again. And then there's our dart expert, Joanna Hall. Hi, Hi Joanna. Liz. Hello, Joanna. And next to her <laughs> is our interiors expert, Emma Pickles. Hello, Les. Uh, hello, Emma. <laughs> and finally, our antiques expert, Lorne Spicer. All right, Les. Hi, Lorne. All right, Lorne. <laughs> and, OK, and what about the... Uh, we go over to meet the Finnegans. Right. Okay, hello, Lev. Hello. Um, first up here is uh, our resident doctor, of course, Chris Steele. Hi, Chris. Hi, hi Lev. Our other resident doctor and the man with the biggest uh, brain on the planet hello, is next. <laughs> That's Raj Fasod. Hi, Raj. <laughs> hi, Lev. <laughs> Britain's most flamboyant florist, Carl Wilde. Hi, Lev. Hi, Carl. He's played before. He's cheating because he's been on the real one. Oh, oh, I'm not, glad somebody has. I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to show you my knickers today, though, Lev. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's a new one. And yeah. finally, the man with the map. Fred Talbot. Morning, Hi, Fred. Fred. Good morning, Fred. And apparently Chris has never played the game at all, Judy. That's right, yeah. So I've no, never even looks. seen it. No, no. no. All right, good luck, Chris. Thanks a lot, Larry. Raj, you <laughs> therapy. Okay, let's play Family Fortunes. Richard and Judy, join me at the lockout. Okay, in this first game, in the first game, we're looking for the top five answers. We asked 100 people to say what has been the funniest moment on this morning. Ali G. Were you mm. first in then on yes, the buzzer then? Yes, I was then? first in. Were you? Okay. You, uh, you, well, you reckon you were the funniest I'm then? The funniest. Yeah, I'm the, the funniest. Yeah, I'm the funniest. I'm the funniest. I'm the, I get the, the show. I Richard, <laughs> give us a bit of it now then. No, I'm not doing it, Les, because it is not I'm not doing it. We're looking for Ali G. You are so unmodest. <laughs> See, so unmodest, because oh. there is a top one. Can you find right. it, Judy? I think uh, Lily Savage, on her numerous appearances in, in the phone-in, and especially on the dock. Especially Lily on the dock? Lily Savage on the dock, throwing gushes in the water. Yeah, you're right, that was Was that when he was drunk? When yeah. she was drunk. She was yeah. drunk. She was drunk. We're looking for Lily Savage. Hey! Yes, Lily Savage is drunk. Hey! Judy has control. <laughs> Check with your family. Do you want to play or pass? Oh, oh what I do? Play play play, 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 Les. Play. Okay, we come to you, Chris. Yeah. Now, do you understand what you're going to do? Do I stay here or go there? You stay where you are, Les. Right. And okay, you come up with an answer to that question. Same question. Which has been the funniest moment on this morning? Um, the streaker on the map. The streaker on the map, I yeah. remember that. And then Fred tossed him off around, tossed him off around the Nutsford area. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the streaker on the map. <laughs> yes! Oh, it's answer one. number three. And you get a prize, Chris. Yeah. What have we got for Chris? OK, and you'll never guess what they've won this time, Les. Yes, another pound of sausages. Great! Oh, wow. Fantastic. Well played, Chris. We come to you then, Raj. What do you think? Uh, I think uh, when Chris Evans was on. When Chris Evans was on, what was funny about it? I can't remember. I can't see it. No, it was a good moment, though. You have to say that. Uh, your birthday. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when Chris was on. Yes. Okay. Let's look answer. for it. We're looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. Uh, so we come to you, Carl. What do you think? Um. One of the funniest, I think one of the funniest moments is when I was sat on top of the Christmas tree. It was very painful, <laughs> as a fairy. <laughs> you were on the top of the Christmas tree as a fairy. Yes. We won't ask. Right, <laughs> we're looking for, we were looking for Carl as a fairy. <laughs> oh. No, so two lives are gone. You've got to go carefully because otherwise the Maidleys could steal. So, Fred, what do you think? The time Richard fell off, he sat on a chair and it collapsed. Yeah. That's yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. When he fell off the chair. It collapsed under him. It collapsed under him. All right, we're looking forward. Richard her, fell off the say. chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we come over, and what I do now is ask you, Lord, for your answer. OK, we're just Lord, consulting you. Right, what do you think? The time no. when you, were in, you, were in, you changed over, you dressed up as Jesus. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Sorry. OK, you go oh, individually Hello. down. Okay. Hello. Lord. Oh, Lord, uh, make up your own rules, you lot. Will you swap those over roles? What? Oh, table table over roles. Yeah, yeah. Emma. I was going to say the same as Lord. I've got to think of another one now. Sorry, I'll have to pass on that. OK, Joanna. Um. Maybe you potentially don't get this the wrong way when your arm got mauled by the lion, potentially. You mean the bat? Oh, yeah, yeah. the bat. The bat. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. That was really Denise, funny. Denise, Denise, what was your favourite when funniest Richard moment? When Richard fell off the stool and said a naughty word. When he fell off the stool and said a naughty yep. word. Richard, what do you think, apart from your Ali G moment? I think it's got to be when, we act, when Judy had the good grace to let us run the footage of the, her dress falling down. That's OK, we show that on the show. All right, let's have a look. Which one are you going to go with? I'm going with Judy's dress. Well, we were there. We were there. Amanda and I were there. Oh, oh, we're, oh, looking oh, oh, we're looking for Judy's moment on the National Television Awards. 
speakers that played him his his, his fold back the music he was meant to be singing didn't didn't weren't switched on so the viewers could see could hear him singing but he didn't know he was singing, he, so he was but he was just like this <laughs> waiting to start it was amazing Fantastic. And, then, and then the music kicked in finally on the speakers and he realized and hit the beat and he's let's <laughs> show it ever since he's lovely yeah. excellent okay let's play round two go denise go denise come on denise, right, come on, denise. and chris right we're looking for the top five answers we asked a hundred people today and what has been the most unusual topic covered on the show. <laughs> Bell went first, Chris. Bell. Chris, it's Chris. Uh, yeah, it's Chris. The, the Viagra moment. The Vi Viagra moment. Viagra moment. Okay, let's have a look, see if that's there. Yes, it's yeah. the top oh, answer. Oh, yeah, wow, we did it. it. Oh, no, no. So you have control. Chris, decide what you want to do. Do you family want to play or pass? What pass, do I do? Pass, play or pass? Pass, pass, pass. pass, pass, pass. pass. All right. Oh, pass. Yeah. Or are you going to pass right. it over? Strategic. Mm -hmm. We're playing tactics. So, okay. So can we confer on this, Les? Uh, no, 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 you okay. can't. Right. But the uh, Finnegans can. Okay. So um, I just talked to Chris that side, and we come to you, uh, Joanna. What I, do you think? Oh, gosh. I think it was when you covered uh, the couple that got married who were gay. The gay couple who got married this gay year. Marriage. This, yeah. This the Valentine's gay, Day. The gay marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look for that. It's a yeah. well done, well played, yeah. gay wedding. Lovely. What do you think then? We come to you, Emma. Okay, I think maybe, uh, I think last month you did something where you had uh, three couples going off to trial, uh, trial the... Uh, it was the clitoris cream. Yes, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> that was the word you're looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Run that by me again. <laughs> <laughs> the what cream? Yeah. The clitoris cream. Okay. okay. Yeah. You found it, Richard. I don't you think I've it. ever said this on Family Fortunes. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for uh, the clitoris <laughs> cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. it isn't there. Lawn. Um, I was at the, the programme where you basically had a man on and he had all the full frontal showing them how to actually um, yeah. test for prostate cancer. Oh, the... Uh, yeah. Prostate yeah. cancer. No, 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 sorry, no, it's the wrong part, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Prostate, you didn't get it. Yeah. Said, no, you got it wrong. Well, well, it's fine. The, the testing self-examination. Thank you. The testing self-examination. Yeah. Can I just say it's fine? Yay! Oh, yes! Oh, yeah. The testicle oh. exam! No, <laughs> we're looking for. So what we got? We got two lives left, two answers to find. So we come to you again, Richard. Okay. okay. Um. Oh, Don. I don't know. Uh. Most unusual thing you've ever done. Um. Oh, my mind's gone a blank. Help. Quick. Controversial. Controversial. Not supposed to confirm, but I don't care. Um, it's your last day. The adultery agency. The what? The adultery agency. The adultery agency. Yeah. No. no so two lives are gone. Will the Finnegan steal? Oh, oh, what about Guys, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Denise, what, um, can we have your proper answer oh. now? Quick, quick, quick. I gave him my proper answer. I oh, know, you let him have it. The man who said that he didn't murder his wife. The man who said he didn't murder his wife. The man who said he didn't murder his wife and he did. Okay, the man who said he didn't murder his wife and he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, oh. so we come over to the Finnegan family. We come down the line. We start with you, Fred. I mean, we had an item years ago in Liverpool on sex toys. I can remember that. You're right, how we get away with it? But we did. Yeah. You see, you see how how ahead. all these questions <laughs> where they're all leading to yeah. sex yeah. toys. Carl. Ah, oh, um, my God, I don't know. I've been that man. It's probably you at the top of the Christmas tree. Uh, um, I say Carl Wild. That's yeah, me, me, I've, I've, I've been apparently quite controversial. So right. <laughs> uh, it's very difficult. Such a bizarre show. But I think uh, alien <laughs> abduction. <laughs> alien, alien abduction. Yeah. Chris. And there's got to be, I think, uh, another medical item, the breast examination. <laughs> All right, and Judy, there's a few answers there. Got one of your own? Well, for me, yes, definitely. I think it's about our first phone-in ever when Chris actually told the nation how to wipe its bottom. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> which one? Is that what you're going to go with? Go with that one. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Go with that one. Well, go with that one? Good, yeah. Yeah. Go with that one. OK. okay. Chris told the nation how to wipe its <laughs> bum. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. so it means the Maybellies win the money! Oh. We don't have time for big money because it took us so long to play. No. But the missing answers, you want to know what the missing yes, answers please, are? Yes. Yes. Answer number four is... Oh, the oh, nudist. The nudist. Oh, what was that? Of course. And answer number three is... The transsexual oh, makeover. Yes, of course. Well, this has been really yeah. interesting. It's been the most interesting family fortunes I've ever played. <laughs> thank Thanks you, a lot. Les. No, thank you Listen, very much, Les. Give it up for Les. Thank you. May I 
just say that uh, oh, mornings, okay. mornings are never going to be the same without you. Oh, bless you, I miss you very much, and oh. we'll all have to get jobs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go to the news now, but do join us for the rest of the show. All our experts are waiting to take your calls in the phone. In as is Paul O'Grady, the guy behind the wonderful Lily Savage. So whatever you've been dying to ask, all of them, or us, or Paul, now is your chance. Give them a call on 08700 100 101. And straight after the news, three finalists play for a chance to win our giveaway house. We'll do midday money qualifier. Des O'Connor's live. Find out if we set a new world record for the largest ever makeover. Emma Dale's Andy Sugden on his first screen snog. And uh, Boy George is cooking. And that's all coming up right after the news, and we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Here on HTV, we rejoin this morning. I could be a retail buyer. Welcome oh, hello, back hi. to hi. hello. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back uh, to this show. Um, our last. We're so far. We're enjoying it very much. Lots more still to come this morning. Um, on this very special show. Now it's time for your midday money qualifier. First of all, um, we're getting, we're showing it you now. And all this week we've been showing clips of the uh, classic kids TV shows. So cast your mind back and relive another childhood memory. Off you go then. I'll call you when tea's ready. How lovely! We haven't played on this for ages. I'm going up first. All right. Cool. Down I go. Woo! <laughs> now your turn, Jenny. Yes, it's my turn now. Now you watch me. Up I go. Up I go. Now then. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> they were so posh. Why I they? was really, I used to love that. I can't say what it was because that's the question, mm. but uh, I used to love like that. Me too, yeah. I was really, really gripped. And I've worked out now, looking at it again after all these years. Why? The reason is it was just a really pretty house with a really pretty garden and fields in the background. It appealed to all my sense of the perfect family. And, and an inside toilet. An inside toilet. Which you didn't, which didn't have. have. No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was obviously a famous TV show from yesteryear. But what was it called? Was it The Four Tops? Was it the wooden tops? Or was it the tree tops? Tell us on 0901 498 2000 and leave your name and number. Calls cost 50p, lines close at 11.45. Uh, but remember, if you nip out, the phone might ring and you won't pick up. So do stay by your phone. And I must tell you, actually, we've just got, just got the figures in. We've, on Midday Money, which we started about 18 months ago, getting mm -hmm. off two years ago, uh, we've now given away just under £3 million. Mm. Amazing. Isn't that good? Fantastic. And something else, another figure. This is the 2,635th this morning. Right. Although we haven't done 2006. No, no, it's all right, Richard. It's all right. I'll just leave him sitting there. You can get so back in the corner that? with your calculator. <laughs> okay, also still to come. All our experts are standing by to take your calls in the phone, and there they all are. And uh, Lily Savage's pal, Paul O'Grady, oh, wouldn't miss is. a chance to put his two pennies in too. Oh, there you are. Yes, there you are. So anything you ever wanted to ask them uh, or us, call now on 0800 100 101. We will answer all questions. By the way, thanks to everybody who came onto the, uh, the, uh, the website, the This Morning website yesterday. We had thousands of questions. We obviously couldn't answer them all, but we had a really good chat with you, and that was great fun. Thanks for doing that. Also coming up, we're going to meet the three semi-finalists battling it out to win our semi. They'll be playing to win our £186,000 giveaway house very soon now. And to find out if we set a new world record at the end of the show to make over 100 people in 100 minutes. They're all in the same family. That is a gene pool. And we've got all this as well. The man with the tangent, in Des O'Connor, live in five minutes. Poor little Andy Sugden at last life's looking up. He gets his first snog on Emmerdale soon, but will it turn to tears like so much of his little life? We meet them both, 11.20. In disgrace for ten years after sneezing copiously on Susan's hot pot, boy George craves forgiveness in the kitchen later. And the man behind Liverpool's finest export, Lily Savage's alter ego, Paul O'Grady's live on Stars and Strippers, 11.45. Two weeks ago, Ray Robertson from Coventry became the first semi-finalist in the giveaway house competition. This is the moment. Ray, if you answered seven or more questions correctly, you have actually beaten Seamus to a place in the semi-finals. Your actual score <coughs> was ten. Oh. Which means, Ray, that you go through to the semi-finals. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well oh, done, you. Ray. Well done. Ray. Bad luck, Ray. 
Well, let's go through the keyhole now and check out Ray's present home. Hello, my name is Ray Robertson and this is my house in Wyken, Coventry. I've lived here with my husband, Tommy, for 26 years. Our daughter, Debbie, is now married with children of her own and Gary is about to become a dad himself for the first time. I really love the modern style of this morning house. It's perfect and makes our home look a bit of a mishmash. This is the biggest project we've done in our house. It's a kitchen extension and Tommy did all the fitting of the cupboards and the, and the floor. And I was the labourer. <laughs> We've got three bedrooms and we have done quite a bit to the house over the years. Our business collapsed about a year ago and winning this morning house would be fantastic as it would help us to clear our debts and make a fresh start in the new house. It's a dream house and I'd really like to win, so wish me luck. We do indeed wish you luck, uh, Ray. Is that, that all your family there with you? <laughs> Ray, is that yes, your family? Yes, it is, yes. It is. So, uh -huh. you, just introduce us quickly to each of them. Well, this is Gary, my son. Hello, Gary. Hi, Gary. And this is... Go on. Just say hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is Joyce, my sister-in-law's sister. Right. Hey. This is my husband, Tommy. Hi. <laughs> hi. And this is Joan, my sister-in-law. Right. Are you feeling nervous? Very. Ah, oh, lots and lots of luck, and Ray. And it's pouring the rain here. Is, <laughs> is this? Oh. oh well. Never mind. I'm sure. I'm sure you'll enjoy it when we get to you. Uh, good luck. Very good luck, Ray. You'll be playing in the uh, semi-finals for the house in about three quarters of an hour's time. Now, the man who's had more stars on his couch than a Hollywood casting director. Dandy, give Teddy a great big kiss. <laughs> That was Britt Eklund. And Harry Seacombe. And Harry Seacombe. Oh, yeah. God's gift to us all, Harry. Was. Yeah. Good morning to you both. Good morning, good morning my you, good Dad. friend. How are you? I'm good fine. Good. Fine good. And well. Welcome to our last one. Nice to have you here on the last one. Good. Yes. Our last one. Yes, it is. Ah. Now, we've got things to talk about. Well, we've got things to talk about. I've got two things to talk about. But we'll start with the, the, the new programme that you do. Well, it's not a new programme. It's no. the fifth in the line, isn't it? But it's on Saturday. It's the way, way they were. The way were they again. were. We've got some funny stuff in there. Yeah. We've got Anne Robertson at the age of 20. Winking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she was winking even then, 20 years. You could stop right there because we've actually oh, we got, got it. Oh, you've got it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look oh, I didn't know you've got that. And then there's their medical problems. <laughs> I hated the fact that my blotchy face revealed my inadequacy. Indeed, Tony must ask himself why do so many fathers take off just as their offspring reach adolescence? Possibly because their wives are too busy reading the drivel in Guardian Women. Good night. <laughs> it was there. It was all there, wasn't it? The all the elements. Was, the wink. wink was there. Yes, I used to. Um, I used to be a researcher on that show, but I don't remember Anne Robinson. No. Yes, I wonder there. if she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> but they were guest that. presenters, weren't they? They are guest presenters. Guest presenters. On. Yeah. You have yeah. a different one every week. Yeah. So yeah, but I used to. I used to. Be, these were fun to work on. So just to, for those who've not seen it, just describe how, how your, this show works. Well, I, you're just looking back at people like, like that. That's a shot of me, Andy Pandy. I think I, I, that's about uh, years ago. Well, it was 25 years ago, <laughs> actually. You look very sweet. Look sweet. Yeah. I enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Mm. And uh, getting to kiss Britt Eklund wasn't all that bad. Um, <laughs> we're just looking back, and we've got some wonderful clips. We've got a, a first of Pierce Brosnan with Elizabeth Taylor, and she's clasping him, him to her bosom. It looks yeah. like he needs to come up for air. There's some really <laughs> marvellous clips on there. Nice and, family and then you have, And do you have the guests with you in the studio to talk to about them? Oh, well, I've got Britt uh, yeah. Brit Eklund there, Excellent. and uh, uh, Derek Folds, some oh, wonderful... Yeah, oh, he's oh. so funny. He's a lovely guy. Yeah. And wonderful clips, and uh, mad Bradley Walsh. <laughs> I mean, you have to see some of the clips of Bradley, so it's a good yeah. hour. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll see what we have got, though. We've got one of the clips you're showing with, with. It's got Emma Bunsen on it in yes. a previous life. Yes. And one of the guys from S Club 7 on stage together. They were. I think it was just a junior school thing, you know, something like that. I so. did. Uh, well, they probably, because didn't 
Oh, it's going to, they went to stage it. school, so it was probably one of those uh, one of those productions. Yeah, I, I think, think I'm not absolutely certain. I just got the date of it. It goes back quite a few years. I've got a feeling it's a Sylvia Young production. Excuse me. You've got a fly. fly. A fly. Can I have some fly spray, please? Can we see... Um, have a look at that while we go for the fly. <laughs> <laughs> can we see Anna Bunton, please? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was him. It was yeah. Paul. Yeah. That's Club 7 uh, meets uh, Spice Girl. Spice Girl. Spice Girl. Spice Girl. <laughs> Long before they ever became those. Yeah. At least that's five years before. Um, you're writing your autobiography, aren't you? Uh, well, I, do, I didn't want to write the book, but suddenly other people were going to do it. And I figure, you know, yeah, if, you, if there's going to be a book out, write it yourself. In fact, the yeah. publisher said to me, Dad, who would you like to help you write your life story? And I said, anyone else that's lived it. I mean, it's, it feels <laughs> odd to me. If you're going to yeah. write a life story, then do it yourself. Yeah. And yeah. it's called Bananas Can't Fly. Why? Why? Uh, buy the book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. no. I've, I've got, what, I've, what I've done is a lot, there's a lot, I've tried to make the book more fun than anything else. There's one or two things I've never said in public before, and that's in that book. I think when people pay for a book, then you've got to do something a little bit different. Mm. And yeah. there's lots of fun in And the main thing is there's humour in that book. And it, it goes over a few years, quite a few people. I, I, was, I was reading um, a, a brief synopsis of it this morning, and I, and I hadn't realised that you say that in your child, you had an incredibly poor childhood. Oh, yeah. And you actually had rickets. Yeah, that's kind of a vitamin deficiency. Yeah. Vitamin D. Yeah, it? I mean, it's virtually died out now. Yeah. It would it's also sunlight deficiency, isn't yeah. it? And yeah. I got run over twice as a kid, and I was in a ventilator for six months, you know, what they called the, an iron lung in those days. Yeah. But, you know, those days go by, and that uh, just gives you a grounding to, to go upwards off. How did you stay sane as a kid in a ventilator for six months? Well, you, you don't. Well, I don't even remember. I just know I was there. I'm a, I've actually seen the medical report the day I went in and the day I went. It was just under six months. I don't know, as a kid, you, I suppose you get fed sweets and ice creams and people come in. And there wasn't any telly in those days. No. You couldn't read when no. you are stuck in there. No. When you look back, does it all seem not just you younger, but another world, another... It was weird writing that book. You find that you've pulled curtains across yes. of things you don't want to remember yes. in your yeah. life. Yeah. And bringing them back, there was some, some emotion. I, I, some of it was through misty eyes, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. But I think it, it, I'm glad I did it now. It was a challenge, and uh, I feel I feel it's a bit like having done that audience with, you know, yeah. I, I, something I had to do, yeah. just do it, you know. Well, and I must yeah. I must say we're doing we're doing the similar thing. We're, we're writing our autobiography together, um, and it's amazing stuff that you would think you'd never remember if you if you focus your mind and you go back to that point in time that you're trying to, to write about. Yeah. It's it's amazing how it all comes back. Stuff oh, you've yes. not thought about for years and years and years, yeah. and you're transported almost like in a time machine to that spot. Yeah. Smell the smells, feel the feelings. Yeah. Can't wait to read yours. <laughs> All right. Well, Dad, it's love. Thank you very much for coming on this show. Well, it means a lot to us. It's thank been you. a pleasure being here, and I, I look forward to seeing you in your future ventures. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. And you there too, I hope. And thank good luck with Saturday night. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Okay. How about you? <laughs> you can do it if you like. Go on. I'm always nicking your links. Yeah, go on. Go do on. no. Do you do my link? Go on. Oh, all right. Earlier this morning we met um, Jackie Price. Remember, lovely Jackie Price, the matriarch of Britain's biggest family, and today a hundred of her massive clan are getting a makeover from uh, our makeover team, Britain's best, in just a hundred minutes. All right then. It could be tears, tantrums, and tiaras for John Scott. John, how are you doing? Is it, is it coming together? Oh, hey, no tiaras and tantrums where I'm concerned, thank you very much. Now, it may look like a melee, but there are rules to be adhered to. This is a lovely Jeremy, as I've introduced before. <laughs> Tell me two rules that we have to stick to. To get the Guinness World Record, all participants have to see a fashion expert, a makeup expert, and a hair expert. And Guinness makes the final decision by looking at before and after photos. Oh, well, we're bound to win there, <laughs> aren't we? Lee, Lee, how are you doing there? Uh, it's all mad here, John. It's completely mad. We're getting through it, I think, slowly. Uh, are you going to be able to do 100 I think we're on haircut. schedule. I think we're on schedule. Perfect. Brilliant. <laughs> Come with me. Meet four people who've already started trying their clothes on. Margaret, Lisa, Joanne and Natasha. We have to say thank you to Marks and Spencers for Lisa. Peacocks and Face for Joanne. Gap, for Je Gap Jeans for Margaret and uh, Natasha's from New Look. Are you happy, girls? Yeah, 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 you had yeah, a lovely time? Yeah, it's brilliant. brilliant. Now go and get your hair and makeup done. Jefferson, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, darling, this is wonderful. <laughs> you leave him alone, he's spoken for. I think oh, I am. No, no, this no, one. no, no, no. He's She's looking great, though, isn't she? She looks fantastic, nice Jenny. Yeah. Nice you, do, you do your work. <laughs> <laughs> it's chaos, but we're having a fantastic time. Well Come done. back in a while and see how we're doing. <laughs> we will. Thank Good you. for you. Telethon, actually. Yes, yes. All those makeovers in Telethon, all yeah, those years yeah. ago. 
Anyway, still to come, Emmerdale's teenage tearaway. Oh, little Andy Suggins has such a rotten life, and he's got a girlfriend. His first girlfriend, they're live here. And they're from Karma Chameleon to Karma Cooking. Boy George has actually changed from being a pop star to a chef. Can't cook for toffee, apparently, but we'll <laughs> see. We'll test it out later. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Richard Maidley and this is my wife, Judy Finnegan. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Who up. has something to tell you. Yes, I do. Uh, it's about the phone-in. Um, um, a lot of you, apparently hundreds of you, are misdialing uh, for the phone-in. You're getting the wrong number. And it, this is very, very serious because they're getting hundreds of calls and they're a patient service. And ah. they're actually saying patients could actually die because they can't get through to them. So please, can you dial the right number for the phone-in, which is 08700 100 101. That is the correct number. Please be very Just careful. Just start carefully. Okay. okay. The reason, I, the reason I said that there, because that was the opening words, wasn't it, to our yeah. very first show in yeah. October the 3rd, 1988, when I just had a speeding ticket. And I said, hello. <laughs> hello, I'm your looking wife, yeah. Mm. Anyway, it's time to meet our second semi-finalist, who will be playing for a place in the final to win the house. So remember, Kath from Shropshire. How many colours of paint were used in the giveaway house? Kay, can you please tell us the answer that you gave? Twelve. You said twelve. And Kath, what was your answer, please? 21. You said 21. The correct answer to our killer question was 32, which means, Kay, you leave today with nothing. And Kath, you go through <laughs> to next week's semi-final. Well, well done. done. Thank you. <laughs> right, well, Kath's hoping to get her hands on our giveaway house, but here's what she could be leaving behind. Hi, I'm Kath Tinsley and this is my home in Gaboin near Oswestry, Street, Shropshire. But home is also the family business. It's the village chippy. We're the best fish and chip shop in the village. Oh, all right then, we're the only fish and chip shop in the village. It's home too for my husband, Chris, and my daughter, Jodie, who is 18 and who is training as a travel agent. Our son, Christopher, who's 15 and still at school. The house is quite old, it was built in 1873 and we've been here for 16 years. Winning the This Morning house would be absolutely fantastic. It would give me and my family the security that's not always there when you're running your own small business. I'd really love to be one of the two that go into the This Morning house, so wish me luck. We certainly do and Kath, you're there at home now aren't you? Kath? Hi, yes, we're here. And who's with you? Just introduce us to your family. This is my son, Christopher. Hiya. Hello. No. My husband, Chris. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. His, his mother Hi. and his sister. Hi. Hi, both. Hello. Hi to all of you. And how are you feeling today, Kath? Extremely nervous. Oh, don't. Don't be. But I can <laughs> understand it. It means a lot to you getting the house, doesn't it? It would be absolutely fantastic, yeah. All right, well, you sit tight, have a cup of coffee, take it easy. It's a very easy question, and it's a matter of luck, really, and we'll be coming to you in about half an hour with that question, OK? Good luck. Thank you. Good Bye. Luck, See you a bit later. Well, it had to happen. Poor little Andy Sugden, as you keep referring to him. Poor little Andy. He's had a nightmare adolescence, cast aside on life's scrap heap, rescued by the Sugdens, then suffered the agony of seeing them splitting up, then trying to help Jack's financial problems by torching the barn for the insurance, roasting his adopted mum alive in the process, <laughs> and then seeing his dad hold through the courts on a bum murder app. There have not been many laughs, but finally, Andy's luck and lust seem about to be on the turn. Yeah, well, where is your mate gone home? Does it make sense? Because I don't live here, you know. Well, I wanted to see you. What about? Well, I was just wondering, are you going away in the old days? No. You? No. Well, that's something we've got in common, then. Yeah. I was thinking, if you've got any... Free time. Andy, are you trying to ask me out? It's best you do it before one of us dies. You mean you want to? There's my mobile number. Text me when you got it together. And here's the happy couple, Kelvin Fletcher, of course, and Sammy Winwood. Yes. That's yep. right, that's absolutely new. Uh, congratulations to both of you. It's about time. I mean, it's about time that we had a bit of fun, isn't it? I think yeah. it is, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, because yeah, there's not been a lot of it around lately. H how old are you? Actually? Fifteen. You're only fifteen? Yeah. 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 And you're, are you sixteen now? Seventeen. 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 All right, all right. <laughs> Cradle snatcher. <Sorry. laughs> yeah, so you must have been delighted when you picked up the script and saw at last, at last you were going to have a bit of fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm very much to get to that. Yes, finally. <laughs>
And uh, they are. Already. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to ask you a few questions because you must understand we feel very protective of, um, of, of the character Andy. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. and, and rather and rather so like second mum and dad. <laughs> exactly. We are. We're surrogate mum and dad. So we don't mind if we just put you through it a bit here. Yeah. Yeah. Are your intentions honourable? <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, do you drink or smoke? <laughs> no. Nope. No. Good. Uh, do you take drugs? Oh, mm. A character. It's a character. A character. No, no. No, no. You don't do drugs. And uh, are you a, are you a studious student? Ish. Do you ever get into trouble with uh, with the teachers and the faculty? Hmm. So sometimes, yeah. yeah well, well, I'm glad you were truthful about that because we're yeah. evidence, aren't we? We're evidence that she doesn't get into trouble. <laughs> well, both you of know, them do. Both of them, yeah. yeah. You, you're in trouble last week in school. I know, yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Well, Andy Sugden, you certainly could do with another spell in detention, but frankly, with it being the last day of term, I can't really spare anyone to supervise. So, what are we going to do with you? It's not funny. Any more trouble, and I'll have to consider a more serious form of punishment. Yes, Miss Strickland. And I'll be hoping for a marked improvement in your behaviour next term. And that goes for you too, Katie. Me, Miss Strickland. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely played. What well, have you been doing then? Where have you, where have you sprung from? Um, school. I've got no relatives at the moment. I'm just on my own at school. Yeah. No, no, I meant uh, you, oh. you're, you're, you're you, the real person now. Oh, We've left right. your character no. behind. I mean, um, you. No, I've not done any acting work before. I've um, dancing, singing since I was little. Yeah. Um, I've done a bit of modelling work. This is my first acting job, totally. You're very pretty. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> she does. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Kelvin. I'm not going to embarrass you any uh, further. So how did you get the part? <clears throat> um, I just got it from my agency. My agency just rang yeah. me up and said I've got an audition. So I enjoy I it. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. They're a nice crowd, aren't they? Yeah. Because we were up there doing an OB a yeah. short while ago and we had a lovely time. What a yeah, laugh. yeah, I watched yeah. that, yeah. You really couldn't come on to the lunch after, could you? No. Why I not? had to go and film. Did you? Yeah, I had to shoot. Oh, yeah, I had to you should have pulled a sickie. <laughs> are you, are you, have you taken your GCSEs yet? You no, weren't. No, we were the first year. GCSEs. Another year. Yeah. And you, you taken yours a year Only ago. Only man last year, yeah. Yeah, and you did very well, didn't you? You did well. Yeah. yeah. What did you get? I did well. Um, I can't. I always forget. <laughs> <laughs> you, got you, a lot of, you got a lot. You got a lot of Asian people. Are you still staying? No, I, fi I finished. No, I finished in. Um, I forget as well. I finished. <laughs> I think I was going to go back to uh, do my levels, but after your four levels, you see. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't. So you are now a professional, completely um, professional actor. Yep. Yeah. Something like that. Is that, is that what you want to do? You, you want to act? You oh yeah, to definitely, definitely. It's totally new to me, but it's it's so amazing, like the experience. Have it's you done brilliant. acting at school? Have you been on stage? Yeah, well, I've taken drama? drama GCSE, so right. I've done a few plays with them and stuff, but. Um, it's totally new to me, this. Where are you from, Sam? Um, Bolton, near Bolton. Manchester, yeah. Oh, which school did you go to? Turton High School. Oh, right. <laughs> Great. And school. so that, that means you have to commute over the Pennines, doesn't it? Yeah. To these things. Now, being at school, being 15, presumably there are a strict limit on the number of hours you can work? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Um, I think it's some 80 days a year I can work. Right. But um, hopefully I should keep in that, so. I've just got one final question, Kelvin. Um, is this going to be happy? Is it going to work out nice and happy? You're not, you're not, she's not going to no. dump you, is she? And then tears again or something. No, we've no, had enough. Again. I know, I've had enough. I think you've had, had enough of me crying. I think it's going to get boring now. <laughs> uh, hopefully, she'll keep on going, I think, just see how it progresses in the summer. So you've not been given any idea how long it's going to last? Or? No, not really, but it's... Mm. I don't know if it's love at first sight yet, yeah. I don't know. You be nice to him. Don't I you break his heart. He's been All right. You've had enough in life. It's lovely to see you, but thanks for being on the show. It's great to see you. Okay. Okay, now last time Boy George was in our kitchen, he was a sort of, well, he was definitely a health and safety hazard. Mention He's it. eating all the ingredients before he started. Now, the reason I'm honoured to have you here is that what you eat is to do with your religion, isn't it? No. Nothing to do with it. Is, it, is it not to do with being a well, Buddhist? Obviously, um, I just eat vegetarian food because I don't like eating animals. But, but that doesn't go with the Buddhism, because an awful no. lot of Buddhists are, in fact, vegetarians. Yeah, but a lot of Buddhists also eat meat as yeah, well. Yeah, look at the ties. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people that, um, lots of people eat meat, don't they? I've, I've gathered together one or two little things. I didn't know what <coughs> my... <laughs> All over the ingredients. Come here. Honestly. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. It was I know, that's a very special ingredient, that. <laughs> <laughs> just hang on, just to make sure. It's that's not a biscuit, biscuit. <laughs> biscuit. I'm so sorry. This is Dragna, your, uh, your sous chef. Yes. I'm so sorry. So I've wiped your nose on the biscuit bag. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. We just, this is where we came from. You'll have to be fired. This is where we came <laughs> I can't believe that you can now cook well enough to write this, which you have. Are you, are you a really good cook? Yeah. 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 And it's, is it all microbiotic? Yes. 
What does macrobiotic mean? Sugar-free, dairy-free, meat-free. Is that all? Oh, I well, thought it meant something It's a bit more complicated than that. Yeah. Well, listen, you would do two courses for us today to yeah. make amends for destroying Susan's uh, you know, reputation for cleanliness. Um, do the first one, please. Okay. There do we you want to go over and join? Yeah. Um, that's right. Now, you've you never cooked on Tully before, have you? Yes, I have. Have you? When? Uh, on your show, didn't have I? You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hang on, Matt. Well, in that case, it's our shoes and I'm avoid. I'm sorry, you'll have to leave. Go on, then. Right, we we'll share the cover of the book as well. Yeah. Uh, I have to. Oh, we just nice. did that. Well, I'll do it again. OK. What do you make? <laughs> this is shiitake mushroom pasta with uh, soy cream. Mm -hmm. Right. OK. Very good. You stir that. So much you did the hard work, and I'll just talk. It just means... <laughs> yeah, you did have to. So, so microbiotic actually means anything, anything that's good for you. It's kind of healthy, but sugar-free, mm. no yeah. meat, yeah. no dairy. Mm. And don't you eat... You, you, you're vegetarian anyway, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've been vegetarian for about 17 years. Yeah. You look very well, haven't you? Thank you. <laughs> I just That's turned 40 as well. Thing. Have you? Oh, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Um, I, don't know why, I don't know why they congratulate people, but... OK, so she's put yeah. shiitake mushrooms in there with the, uh, the, uh, the uh, onions, French yeah. onions. OK, what next? Do you want to put um, a sprinkle yes. of sea salt, please? Just a sprinkle? Yes. Just a sprinkle? She's a very bossy yes. dragon. Oh, I'm so Where's she from? Yugoslavia? Yeah. yeah. Well, they are, they? Five Bell Size Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, thank you. And a little bit of um, soy cream. Just Where's a little bit. Can you get, uh, what's a it bit called, shiitake mushrooms more. anywhere? Thank you. That's good. Most places now, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Most supermarkets yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pasta. Pasta. Per Is that pasta? Yes. Right, so that's already been boiled. Nice and firm. Thank you. <laughs> Sturdy. There you go. Very good. Right. I'm nervous about um, Paul O'Grady coming to taste it, though. <laughs> is it going to be nice? Is he here? <laughs> is he here? Yeah. Yes, yes, no, yes. Yeah. I don't around, know yeah. if he's going to be nice. Depends what mood he's in. OK. You have to watch it. He's going to be very changeable. Is this your last show today? It is. Yeah, it's our last show, yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah our last show, yeah. Not the show, yeah. but last show. Um, so, so how about, about now the rest of the... So just toss it in, you know, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the cream, George, please. <laughs> Hello. So Hello. How, how, are how are you? How are you? Oh, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well. Lovely to see you. How are you, George? George. George. You want a kiss? Come on, Richard, I'm here. Don't keep me talking. Hello. <laughs> anyway. How are you, Kiss? Are you in a good mood? Tonight. I'm off hard. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've only been up about two hours. Oh, and you're in a good mood already. Well, I didn't get, I didn't get in until half five. Didn't you? I got the same last night in the club. I'm on Richard and Jersey in the morning. I've got to go home. <laughs> we're, making this a, we're making this extra creamy for you. I'm starving, oh, Tom. Starving. We ain't going to have time for the pudding, but just tell us what the main course is again. Oh, it's all really, you know, that's it's it. Done, it's yeah. all done. So yeah. now we're just going to season it with some pepper. Is that that's soy milk, please? I noticed. Soy cream. No. Oh, is it? No, I, yeah. st I, I don't touch milk anymore. Don't you? No. Was it, was no. Did it sound ever after any produce if it's in daily? That's true. And that's it. Thank you, darling. So, Dragoner, is that finished now then? Is that finished? Yes, yes, well, let's see how. Let's have a quick recap. Well, see how I did it. Right. First of all, cook the pasta, but don't overcook it so it's nice and firm. Heat the olive oil in a wok, then add some shiitake mushrooms and spring onions and stir for a minute or two. Then add one tablespoon of soy cream, the drained pasta, salt and pepper, and toss. Pour in the rest of the soy cream and mix very well, and there you have it. You're sure that it's my Put it on the plate now, dude. I'm, I'm not sure about the salt. I think he might need a bit more salt. All right, no, well, I don't want that's salt, I'll be honest. Okay. Okay. Salt break, Come wheat break, it's a lot, mate. There you go. That looks lovely. This wheat. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Are you just saying You're that? You're just saying that? No, I'm not. No. Oh, if you want some more you pepper, you can always I've got a cold sauce. Oh, Jack, that is lovely. That is really nice. That's lovely, that. Yeah. Is this like... What did he say? Is this the Yugoslavian breakfast? Have you got a bit of bacon or something? A bit of coal? You want a bacon or something? There's like a plenty of that in Yugoslavia. You like it in spite of yourself, do you? Yeah, I do. It's very nice. Thank you. Well, thank you for me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, no, thank thank you for you. coming in on to, on to our final show. Um, thank um, you for making amends. You've done very well. That's the book. Yeah, karma. <laughs> Good luck with everything you do. Still Still come, come, you. Do you Still mm. come. We have I know three finalists day. battling it out to win mm. a place in tomorrow's final for a chance to win our £186,000 giveaway house. And the man behind Lily, Paul, is with us chatting live. See you in a second. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Mm. Time to meet our third semi-finalist, our final semi-finalist, <laughs> um, Anne Parkinson from Liverpool, who got through to the penultimate round of our giveaway house competition only yesterday. Anne, you had to score nine or more to beat Andrew to still be in with the chance of winning the house. Your actual score was 11. Oh, 
which means that Anne goes through to the semi-final. So, uh, before we go live to her very own living room, here's the grand tour of what she could be leaving behind. Hi, I'm Anne Parkinson, and this is my home in Spieth, Liverpool. I live at home with Brian, my husband, who's had eight children, the eldest being 38. There's two still at home, Brian and Joanne. We've lived here for nine years. It's a good-sized family home with three bedrooms. Brian's decorated all of the rooms himself. We've probably done most work to the kitchen. It's my favourite room in the house. I've enjoyed watching the makeover of the house, especially the kitchen, with being a cook for the last 20 odd years. It's been nice to see a progress. I also like the style of the sitting room, and I like the outlay of the garden. It would be a dream come true to win the house. I've never got this far in competition before. It's really, really exciting. Please wish me luck. And we wish you all luck. Hello, Anne. Hi, Richard. Hello, darling. Who have you Hello. got there with you? I'm Judy. Hello, Hello. Pardon? Who have you got there with you? Hello, Judy. <laughs> Who have you got there with you? <laughs> I've got uh, my husband, Brian. Hiya. 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 Robert, my eldest son. Yep. Hello. Joanne yeah. and Brian. Hello. Hi. Hello, oh, hello to all of you. Now, Anne, <laughs> you're desperate to win this house because if you do, you think you're going back to Cornwall. You're going to sell the house and move back to Cornwall. I certainly yeah. am. Yes. Yes. yes, that, yes. That's really what you want to do. Is it because you want that's to be back that, by the... That would be a dream come true. Yeah. All right. Well, OK. We, we, oh, what can we say? Good luck to everybody because now really is the moment of truth for our three semi-finalists. And I have to ask you to clear your family out of the room now because you're not allowed any help at all. <laughs> and it's to shoo them away. It is the moment of truth for the three semis in our giveaway house competition. Two of them are going to be heading off to Bromsgrove at the end of today's programme to play in the final, which will be live from the house tomorrow. And uh, one will be staying at home, and I'm afraid winning nothing. No. Now, earlier, all three contestants were asked a killer question. The answer to which is a number. They were asked off air by our team. They each had 10 seconds to give their answer to the team, and they have absolutely no idea what the others guessed. So uh, let's play. Today's killer question was How many drawers are there in the This Morning House? How many drawers are there? And our first semi finalist is Ray Robertson from Coventry. So, Ray, what is your answer to that question? 38. You said 38. 38. Thank you very yes. much. OK, that's registered. Thank you, Ray. Uh, OK, today's second contestant is Kath Tinsley from Shropshire. Kath, can you tell me the answer you gave to today's killer question? I said 22. 22. Thank, Thank you, very, you much. very much. And our third and final contestant is Anne Parkinson from Liverpool. So what did you think the answer to the number of drawers in the house is, Anne? 21. 21. Ooh, the two of you are yeah. right next door to each other, as it were. Raise a bit right. further ahead with 38. OK, here we go, then. I can reveal that there are, in fact, 22 drawers in the This Morning House. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that Kath and Anne are both through to tomorrow's final. Ah, <laughs> uh, and sadly, Ray. Oh, oh God. Sadly, Ray, we have to say okay. goodbye to you. Ray? Ray. Oh, bad luck, Ray. Well, sorry. Well, nobody's really a loser, are they? No, because, Ray, mm. here's some good news. You will get a holiday as a consolation prize. You've got a second honeymoon oh, with thanks. Tommy for a week in Venice. It's worth £3,000, OK? And mm. Kath and Anne, you need Thank to get... You. You're welcome. Hello. Just a little consolation. Thank Kath you. and Anne, you've got to get packing your bags because we'll be going to be seeing you off to Bromsgrove at the end of the show. So get packing, OK? And congratulations. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's awful though when somebody <laughs> looking loses, oh, isn't it? Awful. Oh, oh, that. she's so disappointed. That. Anyway, we move on. There are travel reporters and there's Paul O'Grady. There's Judith Chalmers in Jersey and there's Paul O'Grady in Bangkok. Spot the difference. There's Mary Nightingale, fragrant in a Torremolinas timeshare, and there's Paul O'Grady, hungover, frightfully cross and resentful at a New York dance class. Hello there. Hold it. Hands off the bar. Arms in fifth position. Smoking. No smoking in class. Smoking is not good for you. Sorry, Miss Rivera. Terribly sorry. All right. Okay. Now, let's, get, let's, get, let's get back to it. Let's do second position now, boys. I forgot what that one was. You haven't had it yet. Oh, haven't we? No. Okay. All right. 
Legs open. Open those legs. Open them. I don't, I won't. This is not easy, you know. I and know it's no, not. No, it's not supposed to be funny. No, I'm not laughing. Fun. Honestly, I want to get on a show in Broadway. All right. Yeah, Can you yeah. sing? I, no. Can no. you dance? No. Can you act? No. But can you do? I dress up as a middle-aged prostitute and do a game show. Oh, why you silly? You'd be perfect for that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Paul O'Grady's America. Here's to it. I hope it's Cheers. a pretty success. Cheers. 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 Really? Oh, thank you. Clink. Yeah. Cheers, Best mate. of luck. Oh, thank yeah. you. And thanks it feels really hard, you know, that you're going. Yeah. It does feel yeah. peculiar. I've talked about it. I haven't come on to plug the show. Seriously, I've come on to thank you because I've been doing this show with you now for, well, since Liverpool and I've had yeah. a ball. Well, we I've always had such on. a good time on this show. Mm. So I mean that, honestly. Oh, well, thank, thank you very much. Well, we know you. Well, we've always had a wonderful time. And yeah, I'm taking over some other. <laughs> Me and Stella, I'm yeah. being paid a fortune, honestly, a fortune. Don't rub it in. <laughs> no, but it, yeah. I, I mean, it's, I, you know, it's just, I've had a great time on this show. I was horrified and I found out. I was in the States, I was filming. Oh, for that series, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Two and a half months of hard labour. <laughs> it is, though, because... Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, as, you didn't really like the Orient trip, did you? I did, but you see, because it was the first time I'd done anything as myself, so I was sort of finding my feet. Yeah. And now I found my feet. But you hated Bangkok and Ooh, that other thing. I yeah. Bangkok, yeah. yeah. Singapore, I like it. I love Shanghai yeah. and Hong Kong, I like. You're disgusted by Bangkok, actually. I was, actually, you? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's sort of... The child prostitution. The child prostitution and all horrified me. And Pat Pong, you know, with all the ping pong business and all that. Mm. I, like, I didn't find it funny. You know, I just thought, no. this is disgusting. Mm. And the mm. people who went there horrified me as well. Well, the Westerners who go out Yeah, there. you know, like, just dogs. They just behaved like dogs. I couldn't believe it. Mm. And, uh, you know, they, we were, we were going to film in this club, and I said, no, I refuse. I just refuse to be seen. Anywhere near these people. You mean the Westerners who go out there purely on a kind of sex trip? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, it's, it's yeah. disgusting. You know, they're really like, it's quite hard. It opened my eyes, Bangkok. Does yeah. the yeah. government there just turn a blind eye to it then? Oh, yeah, I yeah. think so. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it promotes tourism, so, you know. Mm. And they all come down from the, the villages and what have you, so find what work they can in, yeah. the, in the big city. Mm. And unfortunately, that work for most young teenagers is prostitution. Yeah. Mm. Well, look, you were three months in the States. We, we, we love America. We love America. I we're do. Completely yeah. pro American. Um, what, 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 how did you take it? I, well, I love the States. Yeah. I mean, first chance to get them off to New York. Mm. I always go on holiday. Mm. And I just love it. So, you know, they said, where do you want to go this time? I said, America, please. But I thought, I'll put a cross on my back here because everybody's done the States. Yeah. So what can you do that, you know, that's, that's different. Difference. Yeah. So where did you go? Which parts? Uh, New York. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco, which I hated. That's like, did you? Ooh, God, yeah. it's really cold. <laughs> it's really cold. It is cold. It is cold, yeah. Cold, but miserable. And there's no energy every night. And, every, you know, you say it's really pretty. So is Wigan. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like an awful place. L.A. San Francisco is oh, one of the most job. beautiful job. cities in you the world. You cannot smoke. They're so anal retentive. Yeah, that's true. Cannot yeah. smoke. That's true. I spent the whole of my time in San Francisco, stood outside pubs like this. <laughs> and if you move the chair, they go, sorry, you can't move that chair. That's a bylaw. That chair must stay there. Yeah? You cannot put that bar still there. That uh, access has to be all this business. Weird. Yeah. So, um, they, uh, are very, they are very rule-bound, aren't they, Americans? Oh. Considering it's meant to be the land of the free. That's not one the land of, of the free. They're it's very rule-bound. full of all these rules. Yeah. Yeah. New Orleans are loved. Yeah, that's that's right. like, you know, if you want to go bad, go to New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, that'll turn you bad overnight. Yeah. I was very badly behaved in New Orleans. <laughs> it's just California. That you, why? What did you do? <laughs> I've just uh, sort of, I don't know, it's, it's like, it's a wicked city. I got there mm. and I thought, ooh, it's my kind of town. Does it feel French? Does it have that French kind no, of No, not at all. No? No. no? no. I wouldn't know. I was plastered. Most <laughs> of the, I, was, I was forever in jazz bars. Thank you, Johnny. Well, I was in the crew looking for me. Where is he? And they hear me coming up Bourbon Street. Uh, it's just a great town. You know, oh, like, that's good. Yeah. Love, honestly, you'd love it. To go it's there. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas we went to. I like Dallas. I liked everywhere. Yeah. Except San Francisco. Yeah, I just found San Francisco really dreary. You know, like two to eight, two to eight, and they're all so uh, too so PC for me. Where's Lily these days? I mean, wh wh oh, she's are you been a bit lining in the garage, <laughs> sulking. I thought, now nah, I'm not putting air on today. No, no. that's um, I've got another series of blankety blanks to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, it's Which good. I love. I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing another series of Lily Live, which I really oh, like doing, yeah, because good, yeah. they can't do anything to me. It's a live, it's live show, so I can't be edited. Nobody can chip in. Yeah. And once they plonk me there and put that camera on, I think, like, yeah. it's like working in a pub again. It's fabulous. Yeah. You know what we I mean? We love coming on that show. Oh, yeah, that's you such are a good just time. just loved it. Yeah. I love doing that show. You're a real maverick, though, you. Don't, and you, you, you just hate being told what to I do. I love being you? told what to do. No. I hate being categorised. I hate being ghettoised. And I hate somebody who's, like, age 19 saying, we think this is a very funny gag. I say, do you? <laughs> but stitch that. Come back when you've done 14 years hard labour in, in nightclubs. You know what I mean? They know nothing, half of them. I mean, a lot of people now in television, what they know about telly, you yeah. could write on an, an ant's bum. 
<laughs> Being very polite there. It wasn't, the kind, it wasn't actually what I wanted to say, but, but you know, and I think, no, and that's why I love the live telly, because, like, they, they wheel me out, you yeah. know, because it's Lily, I can get away with murder. I couldn't say this stuff. Do you yeah. ever get hauled over the coals the next day, you know, because you've, you've said what you want to say? No, they no. hold me, I don't care, sack me, I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'm really not bothered. I'm not, I'm, I'm not bothered. Great. He means it, you know. Oh, he's, this is really no gap, this is not bothered. Folks. I don't care, I'll always yeah. get a job, okay. mate. Yeah. You know, like whatever. So Absolutely listen, right. Right. we've got to get you. Stay, you you heard the phone, you know, you so stay on this. Yeah. Okay. You, you're staying on to help take your calls to us, and indeed to all our experts, uh, as we always do on, on on a last show. This isn't the last show because there's a show tomorrow. But never mind. It's our last show. tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Earning a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> so tune in for me and Stella Black. Stella's doing exercises. I'm doing the cookery and keep fit. We're going to give you hangover cures. I'm going to tell you how to fiddle the electricity meter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see if you can do a straight link, okay? Uh, can we single up on two, please, for, for, for Paul? Camera two. What do you want me to do? Uh, and camera we'll two be, and Paul. Right, we'll be Judy FVO catching up with our record-breaking makeover. See you then. Run BTR commercial. Break four. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, this is it. This is uh, Judy and my last phone in. We reckon we've done about 2,500 of these. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and enjoyed every one of them. There's no questions for us here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, we've got lots of questions for you lot. What are your memories then? Ooh. Well, it's a toughie, isn't it? Mm. Of the, the pilot. Of the, phone, the pilot. We, 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 we made the pilot. They're very, very we've never been shown, have they? I'd love well, to see no, it again. The pilot. I thought you meant no, the, pilot the actual the pilot of this morning. <laughs> it's, no, that's right. That's never been shown, is it? I, I, I think it's a good awful. job as well, actually. Well, let's tell you. Well, let's tell you. Well, let's get on to some callers then. Um, we've got Lily, who's on the line from Essex. Hello, Lily. Hello. Uh, you're 72. Yes. Which is roughly the age of uh, Paul. <laughs> um, but you want to ask him a question? Yes, I would. Uh, go on. Go on then. Go on then. Um, I'd like to know why Paul picked Lily Savage. Um, what's the name, Lily Savage? Yeah, my name is Lily Savage. Is your name Lily Savage? Yes. <laughs> so you're the one who's masquerading now, really, and signing checks. No, because Savage is, a, Savage is my mother's maiden name. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, so Savage is a real name. And Lily, because it's a soft name, so, you know, I put on Savage is quite harsh, and, like, Lily's a, a soft name. And if you don't mind me saying Lil, all good brasses. They're always called Lil, aren't they? You oh, know, right. So, oh, yeah. Judy, you look very <laughs> severe in there. She frightened me. <laughs> <though. Come on. laughs> you're like a magistrate, the way you peered at me over them glasses. Don't put them on to so, you. Yeah, like so that's why, so it's, it's sort of a family name, really. And I like the name Lily. Yeah, I do, actually. Uh, yeah, well, you should do. It's your yeah. name, isn't it? But yeah. I get a lot of sick out of it now when I, I find up anybody. You go in the dry cleaners, what's your name, yeah. Lily Savage? I mean, That's it, they bit, start you know, laughing. It's a bit, I'd say that was a bit of a cross, really, it's a bear, to be called <laughs> Lily Savage, <laughs> wouldn't it? Actually, yeah. Listen, it's when I'm walking down the street and a gang of workmen go, all right, Lil. <laughs> Dave, the thing is, when you go into shops and things, they recognise your voice, don't they? Yeah. So they recognise well, Lily's I'm voice. Yeah. What's, Lily's, what's Lily's daughter called? Uh, Bunty. You've got a daughter called Bunty? No, I've got a daughter called Linda. Oh, no, that's no, not mine. it doesn't dog. work, does it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not mine. No, no. I've got the same dog as you. Well, I've got three now. Have you? Yeah, I've got a golden retriever called Bruno. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the other one is. He's a cross. He's called Sweepy, and I got Buster, who's here today. Is he here? Yeah, stinking in the dressing room. Uh, <laughs> in my dressing room. Yeah. Yeah. That Great. No, that's gone. That's well gone. Now nah. I've got goats now. You know, I've got three goats, twenty-eight chickens. Why are you flat? No, I've got. I've moved <laughs> to the. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Black magic. <laughs> Goats in the back kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's landed gentry. I'm landed gentry now, Jamesy. Yeah. No, I've got a, I bought a bit of a, I bought a place in the country, so I thought I get goats and I've got chickens and I've got ducks. I'm like Snow White. <laughs> yeah, I know, you, I know you, can't, you can't actually use the language, but say what, try, give us an intimation of what your pet parrot used to say to you in the mornings when you woke up. It used to be on the end of the bed, didn't it? I couldn't say. You, go, you I suppose you couldn't really, could you? Not, not really. It was a, no. a filth. <laughs> yeah. I used to, used to wake up and the fact used to swear at him. I used thing. to swear. It was a cockatiel. Yeah. I used yeah, to say, answer that, that mm -mm, door. <laughs> answer that mm -mm, phone. <laughs> shut your mm -mm, mouth. And I'd have a row with a cockatiel. So shut your mm -mm, mouth. <laughs> and I think, I'm talking to a bear, dear. The panel went out. You know what I mean? Life's too short to have an argument with a cockatiel. I used to all oh, hunch. Used to look. Used to hate me. Used to look at me and go, why don't you just... Mm, oh. I said, why don't you go... Mm, oh. <laughs> I'm right with a cockatiel. <laughs> oh, around the twist. Demented. I should have been locked up years ago. Right, put me in the mortuary, please. <laughs> the nice secure unit in the rubber room. <laughs> like Silence of the Lambs with one of them things on. <laughs> I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. That was Thank you, very Lily. entertaining. Lily Thank Savage. Fancy being called Lily Savage. Uh, oh.
God help her. Uh, you know what Lily Savage's maiden name is? Hoolahan. Really? Yeah, Hoolahan. Lily Hoolahan. Lily and Hoolahan. <laughs> a mouthful, innit? I said it, she got maddies. She didn't have to say it in the dry cleaners. Lily and Hoolahan. <laughs> so put your put glasses on or put them away. One of the two, you're fiddling and twisting. Put them on. Them on. Put them on. Oh, all right. Oh, right. Judy, oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Judy, you've got to excuse him because he may be landed gentry, but you can't get rid of common. Oh, he's really common. Common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, you get about in the mouth, Denise, in a minute. She starts there with a bevy in her hands this hour of the morning. At past seven, she starts to drink it on the coast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pale ale she's been through, haven't you? How many ham sarnies have you thrown down here now? Baby sham, two bottles of Advocat, and now she's on this. I've got to get it home. That's <laughs> <laughs> a show of me in the streets, screaming big issue. Big issue. <laughs> Santa flog of books. Honestly, she's lying there. <laughs> Go on, get it down your neck. Give it a question. Maria, Maria. Yes, there is a question for Denise. Maria from Gwent. You have a question for Denise, don't you? I hope. Yes, I do, actually, Judy. Um, five years ago, I phoned up and spoke to Denise because I was feeling pretty suicidal at the time. I had postnatal depression, but I didn't know about it. And every time I used to go to my doctor and say, you know, I was feeling all these feelings, he just basically used to dismiss me with a fling in my ear. But this morning I phoned up, and you and Judy both said to me, go to the doctor today, demand that he treats you, and he did. And I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, it's bringing back all sorts of emotions, no. yeah. you know, but... Yeah. Did he give thank you, you. Did he give you antidepressants? He did. Maria. Um, and, and they went, worked? They did, and yeah. um, counselling as well. Yeah. Because so you had you had very straight, as far as I remember this call, you had very straightforward postnatal depression, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And because, you know, Judy's had that herself, she was able to say, this is what you've got. This is and what Denise said, and, and Denise, yes. who'd had it too. Yeah. 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 And, and it was a relief. <laughs> and, and honestly, if I had not have been watching that morning, yep. you know, I really don't know what would have happened. Well, we're well. so, so glad mm. that we helped you. And are you happy now? Very. <laughs> oh, you don't sound it. You sound like you're going to burst into tears. Cheer her up now. She's talking to her. She's a pleasure, that's amazing. I, know. I had her on the couch all morning. My ear was like a piece of leather. But oh, she shut up, honestly. Oh, but I think you've been the housewife's friend for so many years. The whole team. Hmm. We're really going to miss you. We really oh, are. Oh, well. well, the team are staying. The team I mean, are staying. And are we'll be popping up somewhere else. You I know. know. So, you know. Thing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> They think they're staying. Give them a week, they'll be popped off like an Agatha Christie. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's first out the door, this one, I'll tell you, first out. Oh, yeah, I've she's going to be I've on seen TV, I'm telling you now, vlogging Julie. Well, all I can say is, he's been saying he was my friend for years, so if I lose my job, I'm straight down the country estate, so you've got me and the goats. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there's a milkmaid. Yeah, she can. <laughs> <laughs> you have a milk to go, Exactly, didn't? exactly. I, I, I could do it. Don't I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> get something out. She might call him milk in it. I know what <laughs> I'm <right. calling. laughs> We're going to George now from Stirlingshire. Hello, George. <laughs> George from Stirlingshire. Good morning, this morning. Good morning, Good morning George. George. Oh, yeah. I would like to ask uh, Fred the weatherman. Oh, yeah. Uh, he jumped from one map to the other across the Irish Sea on one occasion and he fell into the, the water. Mm -hmm. Never fallen in yet. I was floundering. No, it's funny. People come up to me actually. Living will say, "We were there the day you fell in," and I've never fallen in. <laughs> uh, somebody came the other week. Said, <laughs> just the other week came and said, "We got a picture of you falling in." And I thought I have. Not. I've actually started saying to people, "Oh yes, I remember the day I fell in." I've never thought. Well, you know, I've never fallen in. But you're pulled in once. By the navy divers, yes. yes. But that doesn't really. They count. just missed you, though, didn't they? You yeah, well, they, they came just early. handed back to the studio. That's it. No, they, just before they came to us. Oh, right. They were working, uh, uh, working watches. off their watches. Yeah. And, uh, and they swam under the water. Yep. Yeah. And, and his hand went down, grabbed him by the came, ankle. And Granada sent the Navy a bill for a radio mic for a £1,300. <laughs> 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 well, the captain of the ship actually sent me a bottle of scotch. What? Yeah? Good. I Navy divers grab my ankle. I wasn't on the weather map. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one we got? <laughs> yeah. Christine. Yeah. Christine from Norfolk. Thank Christine. Christine. Christine from Norfolk. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning. morning. Hello. 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 This is a message for Raj. Um, Raj, what's the most irrational thing you've ever done? 
Oh, wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Loads of irrational things. Um, <laughs> so, some of the answers I've given, uh, I remember once, we would, quite recently, Richard asked me at the end of a phone-in. I'm in prisoner as well now, <laughs> right? Okay, go on. <laughs> about, um, I had, was wearing new glasses. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And you said, uh, so what's wrong with your eyesight? Perfectly reasonable question. But right. I went completely blank, and I uh, couldn't think of an answer. So I just said, I, I don't know, but it's pretty bad, my eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, Richard said, but Raj, your wife's an eye surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit embarrassing that you don't actually know what your eyesight's like. Uh, ask him about the Spice Girls. <laughs> ask him about the Spice Girls, go on. What about the Spice Girls, then? What's the most yeah. irrational this thing? Is, this is, well, this is very embarrassing, because as a doctor, of course, I'm fully in touch with popular culture. <laughs> and uh, I was in the green room with the Spice Girls a few years ago, and I didn't know who they were. I mean, they looked vaguely familiar. But, no. um, <laughs> and uh, so I started to strike up a conversation with these young ladies, and I said, um, so what do you do for a living? And uh, they said, well, we're... I think they clocked immediately that I was not in touch with popular culture. Yeah. So they said, uh, we're a popular music combo, my lud. Which, <laughs> which is a famous reply that a barrister gave when Mick Jagger was uh, yeah. in the court <laughs> in the right. 60s. And um, uh, I said, oh, so have you got a single in the charts? <laughs> <laughs> and they said, uh, yes, we have. And I said, uh, oh, where is it? And they said, uh, it's number one. <laughs> and I said, oh, well, congratulations on your first number one. <laughs> and they said, actually, we've had five. <laughs> and then it began to click that these people were really quite large. <laughs> you said I had Kate Thornton with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, right. Denise, tell McCoffin, do you remember that? <laughs> 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 he did. Asked for an autograph, remember? And he thought you were on you had that sticky out rock on. It wasn't actually sticky out. I no. don't remember that. Oh, you wouldn't. You just were flattened. We've, <laughs> 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 we've just had news that someone else is on the line now. Um, you might remember that two years ago we, we launched um, our first Christmas appeal, which we repeated again last Christmas, Pass the Parcel, which was to get people to raise money uh, for, for children, to get, well, actually to buy presents for children, which would then be passed on. Um, and we had a, a message that uh, somebody had actually donated, rather than toys, cash, to the value of £50,000, which allowed us to actually chart a couple of aeroplanes and send two plane loads of very needy and deprived children to meet Santa Claus in Lapland. And the person who made that donation um, was desperate to be anonymous, but we wouldn't allow it. Uh, and it was George Michael, and he's on the phone now. Hello, George. Hello, George. Hi, Richard. Hi, Hello. Well, great. How are you? Hi. I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Judy. Hello. Hi. Where are you calling from? Home? Uh, I'm at home in Goring, yeah. Oh. Thank you, you for coming the other night. Oh, that's oh, very thank kind you. of you. Thank you for asking us. <laughs> we, uh, we're so sorry about the rain. Oh, get yeah, that picture off. It's revolting. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. What are you yeah, talking it's about? The rain. Yeah, that was a bit of bad luck, really, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, After yeah. two months of sunshine. What would you like to say? Uh, well, let me see. First, I'd just like to say uh, thank you very much for, for um, easing me into the day for the last, I don't know, ten Aww. years I've probably been watching this show. Mm. And that uh, you will be sorely missed in this household, definitely. Aww. And I'm sure that I'm sure a lot of people think exactly the same thing. Um, so I want to say thank you for that. Also, um, what what time is the show? You're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> um, it hasn't actually. We'll to talk be to you after. <laughs> I was well, going to say. It's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute order. We can't talk about it. But, um, oh, really? No, it's really in the afternoon, right? It's late. Yeah, well, we said that. It's late. late. It's later on. It's well, later on. I can't, on I can't get up that late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit later on. They call what? it Shoulder Peak. Can I, I say hello to Denise as well? Oh, so go on. Speak to who you like. Yeah, I've go never on. met you, but I'd just like to tell you I think you're a real diamond. Oh. <laughs> wow. And you've had your work cut out for you, haven't you, over the years? Well, um, you've always um, got... You've um, always got Richard sitting next to you talking rubbish. <laughs> 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 divorce him, love. Divorce him. <laughs> Leave the country and then call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say uh, anything to Dr. Chris? What's up with you? No, well, I haven't got, I haven't got any, any, any medical problems right now, so I'll skip that one. Are, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lily wants to can I tell it to Paul as well? Oh, yeah, Paul. I, uh, is this, this is you, George, yeah? Yeah, yeah this is me, What yeah. are you doing hanging around riffraff like this? <laughs> You're a big star. Don't be saying hello to her. For God's sake, Denise. Don't try yourself with this one, bro. How are you, George Paul? Michael. What How are you, Paul? Paul? I'm not bad. I'm a, I'm a bit... I, I didn't get it. I went out last night and I shouldn't have. Oh. I've, stayed I've, got out to tell you, I've got to tell you they're having a laugh with that makeover. <laughs> what makeover? <laughs> this one. <laughs> What, what one? The one you've got right now. How do you know? The hundred people. The hundred people. <laughs> oh, are they doing a makeover? Yes, yeah, you're the biggest ever makeover, you <laughs> oh, never Why is George Michael doing a makeover on this morning? <laughs> George, if you miss our times, come and see me. I'll lend you a few, Bob. I can't. <laughs>
Tom. But right, George, thank you. Michael on the phone. George, thank you so much for calling us. It's, 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 it's lovely to have your good wishes. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank, thank you. you I'm really going to miss you. you. And thank oh. you for that donation. It meant a lot to a lot of kids. It was really good of you to do that. Oh, it was my pleasure. Cheers. All right, mate. We'll see you in the future. I hope. Take care. All right. Good luck. Thanks for being on the line. Bye. See you in the future. And that, folks, concludes our last phone-in. Ah. Well, we'll say goodbye to you at the end of the show. Uh, but you, you're a great family. And we feel like we're in a family. We <laughs> feel like we're losing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good. Okay, That's right, we'd like on. to come around to you and George Michael. You're obviously going yeah. out on the right yeah, line. I want an introduction. <laughs> for years of adoring that man. And for the first time, I couldn't think of anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I was a bit myself, because I'm so chatty, I'm sassy. You're so thing. lucky he spoke oh, to you. Is. He knows your name. I know, Why I know. Well, there's a name. Did you? Oh, yeah. I'm Denise, yeah. I'm stunned. You're the last one, Denise. I'm stunned. You're the last one, Denise. I'm stunned. Faith was written in your honour. What do you mean when we say it's like a family? We just kind of sit here and natter. It's virtually all forgotten what I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Okay, so Denise, you're the last one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, still to come. You can find out if we've set a new world record, the one that George Michael was just talking about, given that 100... You can find out if we've set a new world record, the one that George Michael was just talking about, given that 100 people a makeover in 100 minutes and that one of you will be playing midday money with us for, for with us for the very last time although not midday money for the very last time and we'll be back in a minute when did he cry <laughs> Uh, welcome back. Uh, time for Midday Money now, back in its kind of normal place. And Rachel's already got the caller on the line. Hi, Rachie. Yeah. Hello, hello, Rachel. Hello. Yes, yeah, through. Uh, thank you thank very you much. All. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, it's Richard and Judy here. Who are we talking to, please? Uh, we're talking to Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. And uh, where Kimberly. are you from, Kimberly? <laughs> I'm from North Devon, Barnstable. Oh, right. right. And does right. everyone say Kimberly? Yeah, yeah. Like Victoria Woods. Yeah. Really well, congratulations funny. on being our last Midday Money contestant. Thank you. We hope you we know can make you very rules. rich. You know all the rules, don't you? And yes, uh, do. so let's get on with it. And very, very, very good luck because uh, we'd like you to win a great deal of money today. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Kimberly. Uh, your minute starts now. If you were in Vienna, which country would you be in? Holland. Uh, no, oh. Austria. What is Barbie's boyfriend called? Ken. Yes. In religion, what do the letters C of E stand for? C, religion. C of E. I don't know. Church that. of. Church of. Of yes, you got yeah, it. Good. Right, name the actress who starred in Ghost, Indecent Proposal, and G.I. Jane. Demi. Demi. Oh, Demi Moore. Yes. Edinburgh and Glasgow are both cities in which country? Um, Scotland. Correct. Which city in England is hosting the Commonwealth Games in 2002? Manchester or Coventry? Manchester. Yes. Uh, according to the book and the film, what colour was the brick road Dorothy had to follow to find the Wizard of Oz? Um, yellow. Yellow brick red. The right. Moulin Rouge nightclub is situated in which European capital? Um, Italy. Oh, 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 oh. French. Yeah, pa Paris. Yeah, you oh. got it. Right, well done. Uh, from which country does vodka come? Um, Russia. Correct. Which group's hits included Yellow Submarine and Hey Dude? Um, Liverpool Boys. The Beatles. Yay. Well, I'll give you two more. What animal would you be riding if you were taking part in a game of polo? Horse. Correct. And if you have the gift of the gab, are you good at dancing or talking? Talking. Absolutely. Eleven thousand pounds. You've got eleven thousand. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great. Well what done. are you going to spend it on? What are you going to spend it on? Um, I'm going to get myself a wheelchair. Oh really? Why? What's the problem? Um, I'm disabled. Are you? Oh, oh. well. Great. Will, uh, will that pay for a good one? I hope so. Yeah, it should do, 11 grand. Well, good. Oh, I'm glad that's done a lot of good then. Smash yeah, it. Really good. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to hear it. I hope it helps you a lot, that money. And you. you and good luck you too. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks very much. Cheers, bye, Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. Now then, we've had over 700 makeovers on this show, which is a lot of frocks, tons of makeup and gallons of hairspray, and that's just when Lily Savage drops by for a chat. But uh, today, our team have faced their biggest ever challenge. They've spent all morning trying to get a record for the world's ever television makeover of 100 people in 100 minutes. And we're now going to find out if they are record breakers or just sad losers who spent all morning working the guts out for nothing. So first, here's Jess's daughter, Edie, and her family 100 minutes ago. And here they are now. Can we see them? Okay, well, let's go on to Jess's son, Bob, and his family 100 minutes ago. Okay, and here they are now. <coughs> oh. Okay, we'll see them as they are in a minute. We've, we've lost some of our now shots, but we'll come to that. Here's Kath with her family before our experts got to work. And let's have a look at Joan and her family. And finally, we've got Jenny and her family. They're all from the same gene pool. Now, are we ready live at the live uh, makeover site?
flight. Are we? Are we? Are we? Just tell us, folks, are we there? Well, come back and talk to us for a second, then. OK, well, well the, the, main, the main makeover person, of course, is Jessie. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing her. She was absolutely wonderful earlier in the show. Is she ready? Is Jessie... Have we got the shots of Jessie as she was? Let's have a look at Jessie as she was. There she OK, was. now, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. <clears throat> because we can't get through to the live, the live makeover site. We will in a minute, don't worry about it. Can we? Are we saying yes or no? Right, I've we're got on. it back. I've, I've you got there? it, thank you. Oh my God! John Scott, can you hear us? John Scott, can you hear us? Hello, hello, hello! John, I'm here, I'm here, I'm John, here. John, John, listen to me. Let me explain. It went a bit wrong there because <laughs> it's our last show, obviously. Um, what we've done is we've shown yeah. all the families all together. We've shown them as they looked an hour over a hundred minutes ago. So now, would you take us through all those families and tell us how they look now and how you got them like that? Okay then, this is a group of first 20. They look apt. Give us a wave to Richard and Judy. They look absolutely fantastic. We've got them all in really fantastic high street clothes. This is Team B, the red team. Again, we've managed to do all 20 of them in this team as well, including all the children. They look absolutely gorgeous and they're so happy. This is the green team. We've got babies due this week. Dawn's going to have her baby in any time at all. So her waters are about to break, so we're a bit worried about her, but we're really, really happy. This is the blue team. Wave Blue team, we've got some fantastic characters in this team. We've had such a laugh with these people. It's been a supreme A team to get together, real teamwork. And this is the yellow team, the lovely yellow team here. Wave Yellow team, we've managed to do all 100, Richard. Yeah. We've managed to do all of them as we promised. It's been a huge team effort. I want to say thank you very much to all the shops who've given us freebies. I want to say thank you to the fashion department especially. Who do you want to I say, want to say, thank, say you thank you to? I want to say thank you to the staff as team and everyone to help me. And Richard and Judy, it's been a great year. Thank you. Thank you. to present the Guinness World Record to this morning for the largest televised makeover with 100 people in 100 minutes. Yeah! <laughs> no. That was difficult, but this is the really hard part. I'm speaking for all the people who work on this morning. In fact, I'm speaking for the whole nation. We love you, we're going to miss you so much. I'm getting all emotional now. <laughs> and we want to wish you every, every best happiness, fondest wish for your future. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a tribute to the wonderful Richard and Judy. <laughs> A very warm good morning to you. Welcome to Liverpool's Albert Dock. My name is Richard Maidley, and this is my wife, Judy Finnegan. Hello. One more time. I love Richard and Judy. I love everything about you. Leave my wife alone, sir. Oh. <laughs> 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 is that tie actually a choice of yours? <laughs> At least if you spill food on it, no one can tell. Gene Pitney, who obviously makes a habit of freezing for his art, <laughs> singing for you his latest hit. You're the reason. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. All day long, in my thoughts you're beside me. Close my eyes. You know what's going on? Please tell us. I have no idea. One more time. You don't have to taste this? Oh, you'll love it. Wow. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 Very nice, Brian. One more time, I'm gonna celebrate. You wanna be my lover? You have got to give. You're the posh one. <laughs> my mum's really pleased that they're saying that, but I'm, I don't think I am. She's really. posh compared to the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> I think that stilettos look really nice. It's all right, Hugh. You, you look terrific, Judy. I look like something out of the Rocky Horror Show. Dude, you look really lovely. Look at you. You look really Oh, morning, morning, morning. Yes. I think there's only one word for a man like that. It's very peculiar. What does it take to murder someone you love? It's Viagra Day. 
those pills have gone down and we'll see what comes up. This is your life. And we could have a problem here. And how am I going to cope with this? Right, uh, quite expected. Over the southern part of Britain, I better end this quickly. Again, plenty of sunshine. I'll say bye bye. I'm glad you've brought testicle, yeah. testicle, I can't even say I'm so embarrassed, into the kind of arena of uh, chat. We have to go there. Yeah. Um, and and we people used to say, you know, Richard and Judy, what a load. And, and yeah. now, and now, and now. My name is Michael Carey. <laughs> His butt was fine. Would he be popping up at the... Oh, I shouldn't say that at the award ceremony. I'm sorry, that was practice. Richard, how can you let her just sit there like that? I knew you'd be... I could never get to the bottom of that. She might have originally been called Face. No, <laughs> no, 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 I think that might have been. But what Denise does, she rings me up and she, she says, I've got this problem letter. It's maybe a 30 year old bedwetter or something. And we have a damn good laugh about it. <laughs> I never knew that. Is it okay if I, Ali, does the show with you today? Uh, what, looking like that? I'm afraid not. Is it because I's black? <laughs> to the viewers, thank to you very much for your support. To all of you, thank you very much for watching. One more time. Mm. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Have a glass of champagne. Thank you. Um, hmm. Do you want to go first? Do you want to go first? Hello. All right. I'm very, very much indeed. Are you all thank coming? Thank you, Steve. Come on, team. Come, come on in. Thank you. Come on in. Um, yeah. Okay. I thought, all right. I'll just say something to the say something to the viewers here from from everybody here um, and from me and Judy. Um, num so many times people have said, you know, how how come this extraordinary thing that, that shouldn't fly you know weird show has been on the air for 13 years and, and people still watch it um, I'm thinking on my feet here but it is in the words of the guy who helped launch the show a guy called David Liderman um, the best programs and the ones that people love most are those which they they believe truly are theirs and I seem to remember that the, one of the first things that we said in Liverpool in 1988 to, to, to the audience was about halfway through we snadly we said by the way this isn't our show, this, this is your show. It really is, it's yours. And it's something we've always kept at the forefront of our minds. And everybody here has understood, and that's why it's such a happy family, because although we have fun here, and we get on, and, and we have a marvellous time, and it's been a marvellous 13 years for everyone who's been involved in it, mm. um, we've always remembered that actually it's yours. It, it belongs to you. Um, and I think that's why, on the whole, we've had our moments, but we've got and, on. And the greatest, the greatest aspect of it for us the thing we love more than anything else is the phone-ins that we all do yeah. Yeah. and the way that you all talk to us now as if you know us yeah. and that is such a privilege and it's so fantastic yes. and you've been a fantastic audience and we've loved you all very much and we're going to miss you like hell oh. but still the show goes on Absolutely. and uh, all this lot will still be here and oh god And uh, here's to this morning. To this morning. To this and morning. To you. And to the team. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. And one more. One more. And we all need to join in on this because this is the most important one. To the viewers. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much for watching us um, all this time. Are we nearly finished? Yes, it's on the outro. We now. are. We've okay. got to go, I'm afraid. 
That's it for today. Indeed, finally from us. Tomorrow, John Leslie is joined by Kay Adams for the climax of our giveaway house competition. The whole show's coming live from the house. Uh, there are finalists setting off right now for, for Bromsgrove. Tomorrow, one of them will be the proud owner of that £186,000 house. Denise Carlfield, John Scott and La uh, Lorne will be there too. But uh, this is it. We've reached the finishing tape and uh, we are saying goodbye to you. Thank you to everybody for everything. And as they say, we'll see you around. Bye-bye. Hey. Stay with ITV, the main marching day of the year in Northern Ireland, and it began with violence. We'll have the latest. Also, why the Queen got the green carpet treatment this morning in Guernsey. The news in a couple of minutes. Distraction. This morning, in association with Learn Direct, making life more rewarding.